Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use Tornado to activate your King Tower versus every card in the game. Make it easy. I split up into four categories. Lightweight, heavyweight, miscellaneous, and assisted King Tower activations. Everybody knows how to activate King Tower versus Hog Rider, but this is the correct placement. How to take zero damage and maximize your King Tower HP. Get that Hog Rider King Tower activation. All the rest of the King Tower activations in this category, exactly the same placement, exactly the same timing. Practice this, get this down. Next category is the heavy units. The most important thing with this category is you can only activate king if they are placed on the inside tile, like behind the king tower or at the bridge. And you're going to be wanting to use this tile. And as you can see, this tile is only going to be available if they're on the inside area of the towers. On the outside, like play, for example, played over here, over here, it's not going to work. Next is miscellaneous, and as you might guess, based off the name, every single one is going to be completely different. So let's go over them. First one's first. Skeleton Barrel, very nice. Remember that placement. Next up, Goblin Barrel. This is the placement I like to use. If you do it correctly, you should be able to take zero damage. All right, let's show the drill. Obviously, it depends on where the drill is placed, but generally, you wait for that first Goblin to spawn. Go for the tornado. Based on the drill placement, there's not a perfect placement of the tornado, so you gotta be a little bit creative. All right, pigs come down the lane. I didn't know whether to put this in miscellaneous or heavy. I guess it's more miscellaneous. This is the placement we wanna use. You can also use this placement for hog rider. You are gonna take a little bit of damage. Overall, pretty solid way to counter it for positive trading and get that king tower activation. Next, we're gonna be doing the miner. I just wanna quickly show you guys. These are the two tiles right there that are safe spots for the miner if your opponent plays in any other spot for example in this spot you can actually activate king tower versus it similar to the drill the miner can be placed anywhere around the tower as long as it's not placed in those two safe spots you should be good to go there's no correct tile be creative wall breakers might be the most advanced one with this set but this is the placement you're going to want to use with the perfect timing you can kill the first wall breaker and activate king versus the second it's a very specific tile make sure you guys know it blue's an interesting card if i ever play on this tile i call it the behind the chain tile do not attempt to pull it to your king tower with tornado if they play anywhere else like this kind of the normal placement you can easily activate king tower this is the placement you're going to want to use very similar to the royal hogs good timing also important you do have to take one balloon hit but if you don't have a great counter of the loon and you want to activate King Tower, this is 100% a very solid play. Inferno Dragon and Baby Dragon, very similar. They have to be placed on the inner area of the map. And this is the placement you're going to use. It's actually slightly in the ops lane. Remember this placement. Like I said, same thing with the Baby Dragon. Slightly in the opposite lane. There's the placement. It almost doesn't look like the Baby Dragon is going to be in range. But if your opponent places the Baby Dragon behind the King Tower, it should be possible. A lot of people don't actually realize that you can activate King Tower versus the Electro Wizard. This is the placement you're going to be looking for. The activation versus Mighty Miner, it's important that they've already used the ability. If they have the ability still available, this might not always work because they might use it once they get to the tower. But this is the placement you want to use. You want to make sure the Mighty Miner is in the inside tile as well. Last but not least is the Graveyard King Tower Activation. It's very high risk, high reward. Doesn't always work. This is the tile you want to use inside of the King Tower. And if you can get it off, it's going to help a ton. Fourth and final section of the King Tower Activations is the Assisted King Tower Activations. These are King Tower Activations that can only be accomplished in combination with some other card. For example, versus Golem here. Once the Golem is able to kill a cannon, then... And only then can you pull the golem to your king tower. It's impossible to do it otherwise. Same thing with the E-Giant here. You can activate king tower versus the E-Giant, but only after the cannon has died. 
The same assisted King Tower activation can be used versus Magic Archer, Bullet, and Executioner. Anything that has a super long range. Go for your own unit right in front of your King Tower. Use the Tornado to pull it in and get that King Tower activation. Giants in the same boat as the other thick boys. Go for the cannon in the middle. Once the cannon dies, then you should be able to pull it to your King Tower like so. Previously, I've showed you guys how to activate King Tower versus the Baby Dragon if they play it behind their King Tower. But you can also activate it when they're playing off the side as well. You just need an assisted King Tower activation in combination with something like the Ice Wizard, a ranged unit of some sort. It can also be done with the Magic Archer, etc. To finish out King Tower activations as a whole, I want to show you guys another assisted King Tower activation versus the Royal Hogs. If your opponent goes in... For piggies you go for a cannon and they eq them what you can do is you can actually activate king tower by not taking any princess tower damage this is a really important king tower activation to know remember this 